Ok now we make a video to teach you how to use the VAS 5054A uh, This scanner we have with Bluetooth but we uh, the laptop we use is IBM T30 laptop so we do not have Bluetooth uh, we use USB instead of it First of all connect the VAS to your car OBD port and switch equitation on you can find the blue light is flashing and uh, connect OBD to car uh, to laptop OBD if you have Bluetooth you do not need USB port okay here we double click VAS if you want to set in some configurations you can do the hardware installation configuration here you can find VAS 5054 USB if you use Bluetooth, here will be the Bluetooth serial number. Here is the serial number. We click VSPC, double click. Click OK. Here is the some warning. You click OK. Okay. Now you can see our version is V16, and we have already installed this kind of the cars. We go to administration, and we go to contains. You can see here what we installed the the software, the base. Was to welcome Benny Audi Lamborghini seat Socada Benny. Okay. You can see the details by clicking them, and the right here is the version. Now we test with cars. We go to the mine page, home page, vehicle self diagnosis. With that, we click and click OK. Just wait for a while. We choose the first one, onboard diagnostic, OBD, then we click next. We click ignore. This module we use is the VW airbag, airbag module. The screen shows this, we click cancel. Okay, here uh, there is uh, all the modules you can you can see all uh, very very details. So we click which find the airbag. Okay, here is Eric. Click this one and go to next. Okay, here you can see the airbag. You can see the number 1C0909601A. Here we okay. We see. 1C0909601A. That means uh, it can read the airbag ECU information. And we go to DC, uh, DTC memory contains to we can see the fault code. Okay, here you can see this is the fault code. Now we clean the fold code. Eraser. Eraser. We read again to see if we have a.
already clear the fault code. Zero trouble code to set it. That means uh, we have already erased the fault code. Okay, thanks for watching from OBD Resource.